morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, and good morning, honorable fountainers. How are you all doing this morning? Amen. I'm enjoying mine too. It's good to enjoy your life. There's no joy without the word of God. That's why we have this promise. Our promise for this week, we have our promise for this year. Our very first promise for this year. Our promise for this week. Our promise for this week. Our promise for this week. Week Matthew 6, verses 25 to 26. I think that this verse is telling us to enjoy our lives. This is what he says. If, if you don't know where it is in the Bible, there are many other places where God says, The joy of the Lord is our strength, and our, he, he wishes that our joy will be full. But if you don't know any, anywhere else, this week, if you are quoting the scripture, just say, I'm enjoying my life. I'll say it with pride I'm enjoying my life. And I will continue to enjoy my life till Jesus comes. When water wants to overflow you, when the rivers want to overflow you, God steps in because there's a life God. If you felt like you were barren, you are no longer barren because with God, it is possible to have children. Well, some people say, I don't trouble God. No, I will trouble him because he said in Psalm 46, he is my refuge and my strength. A very present help in trouble. When I have trouble, I have somebody I can trouble with my trouble. It is God who created me to be excited anyway, that way that I get excited. I'm glad that he did. But I will not stop until everybody around me is excited as well. Because there are testimonies that follow joy. And I want you to prove that God is faithful by saying it in the atmosphere. That hallelujah, no go finish for your mouth. I love you all and thank you for your love. I feel your love, your prayers, wherever I am, even when I'm not with you here. Everybody in life wants to feel accepted. If you can give anybody a gift, give them that gift of accepting them. Everybody, every single person, from the president to the smallest member of any nation. And I'm so grateful that the Fountain of Life Church has welcomed me, accepted me day in and day out. You did not only accept me when I came, but you keep accepting me, just like Jesus, who keep loving him every day. You, people of God, are true believers. Hello, guys. How you are doing? My name is Esther of the Esther Chronicles TV. Yes. Good morning. It's morning where I am. I greet you according to your time. I just dropped my son in school and I thought to share this moment with you all. So yesterday I was watching a night of tributes of um, the late Pastor Nomti. Pastor Nomti Odukoya is a pastor and she's a South African married to Pastor Taiwo Odukoya. Pastor Taiwo Odukoya is a pastor in Nigeria. So Pastor Nomsi got married to Pastor Taiwo Odukoya after Pastor Taiwo Odukoya lost his wife, who is in the person of Pastor Bimbo Odukoya. Pastor Bimbo Odukoya on her own was a renowned pastor, loved by everybody, very energetic. And um, so when she passed on, the fear of who is going to take her place was evidential in the heart of many of us, people that loved her. But somehow, Pastor Bimbo Dukoya found Pastor Nomti, who was a South African residing in UK, married her and brought her into Nigeria, brought her to be like a woman leader, like a wife. And she does every function that the wife of a pastor should be doing. Now, last night when I was watching the tribute, it was very, very emotional for me. You know why? Because this is a young, vibrant, happy fellow. And one thing stood out for her. When she got married to Pastor Bimbo Dukoya, even though Pastor Bimbo Dukoya had three children, she didn't try to take the place of the ex-wife. And she didn't try to compete for the position of the ex-wife. She came in with her own personality. She came in with her own style. She was able to win the heart of people in her own way so i'm going to share some clips from our tribute i want you to watch this video to the end and i want you to learn one or two lessons from it it blessed me so well and i thought to share it with you fam i personally love to celebrate the dead i i, I love to talk about go to where people are crying because it puts me in perception and it makes me reflect over my life as you watch this clip i want you to also reflect over your life and um just try and follow peace with all men. That's my new mantra. Follow peace with all men. Please, God. And I'll see you at the end of the video. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Now let's declare this. 
Gloria Brahma Ministry, this is Gloria Brahma. Hallelujah. Because when I when I heard this song, I actually heard the angels singing Yoruba, Mimo Mimo Lolua, and it was like in every language I heard the song. I said, Pastor Nomti, please can you teach me? What would it be like to sing this song in Zulu? I said, Ah, Gloria. It says, Mkwele, Mkwele, Wena, Mkosi. Can everybody say Mkwele? Wena, Mkosi. Mkwele, Wena, Mkosi. I want to believe she's singing this song right now in Zulu. Can we do that together? Oh, 
Another thing that struck me while watching and reflecting over the old Odukoya household is the fact that people might want to say, Pastor Bimba, Odu Pastor Taiwo Odukoya is a man of God. How come this is the second wife? You know, in some things we can't question God. We can't question God. But I'm glad that Pastor Odukoya himself is taking it in good faith. And um, if you want to see the full clip of that video, just go to their channel, The Fountain of Life, on YouTube and watch it it will watch your time it was interesting to watch and it was beautiful altogether beautiful so keep watching you are the lord let your learned one or two lessons just as I have learned one or two lessons number one is the fact that when you get married to someone that have kids don't try to replace their mom don't try it just be you accept the children as your own and come with your own personality people will accept you for who you are don't try to overplace people so if you have watched this video to the end please like the video say a prayer for the odukoya family it's a tough one it's a blow not just on the family on so many of us that love the family and please share this video let it bless someone mega shout out to everyone that used to share my videos i see you thank you for the likes thank you for the comment and if you have not subscribed join this family it's a happy place and a joyful zone i'll see you in my next video it's your girl esther Esther's Chronicles TV. Love you all. So fam, special announcement. In um, Esther's Chronicles TV, we have a culture, it's a tradition. Every first or second of the month, we get to thank God in a special way. So I'm inviting you all for a special time of worship tomorrow, 7.30 European time. Come, let's worship the Lord for what He has done so far. It's the 1st of December. And you don't want to be in other places than the Esther's Chronicles on YouTube. Let's come and thank the Lord for how far He has brought us. And let's thank Him for how far He's taking us as soon as the year comes to an end. Evil will not know your home in Jesus' name. Evil will not know my address in Jesus' name. See you tomorrow on Esther's Chronicles.